Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity 5 tutorial I'm going to show you how you can switch scenes quickly and easily in game. So I have this scene set up here, this is our first scene as we can see, it's just some text and I have this second scene set here which is this is our second scene and in the file and build settings menu I have added open scenes, first scene which is now zero, second scene which is one into there. So heading back to the first scene, I'm going to create a button, which when we press, will load in our second scene. So game object, UI, and button. I'm going to put it in the center of the scene, and I'm not going to change anything about it. It's just going to be a bog standard button. So next we need a script. So right click, create, C sharp script, and let's have this as scene switch. Now, the problem with one of the ways we're going to do this is it's kind of obsolete, but I'm still going to show you just in case, and I'll show you the other way that we do it, so as you have both options available to you. So firstly, what we need to do is here in Scene Switch, under Using Unity Engine, we need to put Using Unity Engine dot um, Scene Management, and then semicolon. And I'm going to get rid of the two voids there. We don't need them. We're going to do public void and let's call it scene switcher. Open close bracket, open curly bracket. And we're going to have scene manager dot load scene and in brackets, we're going to put the number one put the number one because that was the second scene that we've got in our build settings and then semicolon and then close curly bracket and save so this is the main line you would use to switch a scene the reason I have it as a public void is because I'm going to use this on a button so head to our button and attach this script to it and down here let's add this to our button so we need to drag and drop into there change the function to scene switch and have it as scene switcher. So when we press play now, the button will switch scene using that method that we chose. The other method is to simply have application dot load level and in brackets that same number and save. We'll notice now we get a warning at the bottom of our Unity engine. Yeah, so we've got it there. It says it's it's obsolete and use cmanager.load scene. Thing is, it still works just as well. At least up until Unity 5.5 and 5. Point, it still works in 5.6 as well. So you can do it. However, I would advise using let's undo all that, the scene manager.load scene, because that one is the one which is going to be supported going forward in Unity. So guys, that's how you quickly switch a scene in Unity 5. Thank you very much for watching.